Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today is the start of New Capna Week, and so I wanted to start things off with my personal favorite question involving a card from the new set. Amy controls doubling season, and she plays Brass Knuckles. What happens? Alright, so I think we can all agree that the answer to this question is going to involve a whole lot of doubling. But how much exactly? And in particular, if we take a look at the ability that triggers when you cast Brass Knuckles, it says that we're going to copy it. And, as the reminder text helpfully points out, that copy is going to enter the battlefield as a token. So, is Doubling Season going to see this and create an additional token copy of Brass Knuckles? What do you think? And the answer to this question is actually a little bit counterintuitive, which is that no, Doubling Season is not going to give you another copy of this token. And to see why that is, well, I could do what I always do and bring up the part of the comprehensive rules that specifically covers this case, and then just call it job done. And I mean, yeah, that technically is an answer, and it is a justification that should be able to stand up to pretty much anyone who would disagree with you, but I still find it a little bit unsatisfying. At least until we can get a little bit of an intuitive sense for why the rules are worded the way that they are. So, how can we understand this? And why would this event not count as a token being created for doubling season or any other similarly worded effect. And in order to answer that, I think it might help if you take a look at what the meaning of the English word create is. It doesn't really mean to assemble from components or to turn something into something else. Rather, it connotes taking something and bringing it into existence out of nothing. And so if you think about what normally happens when you have a spell or ability that creates a creature token, that definitely does match what would happen there. We started out with nothing, and the token created is created on the battlefield. There isn't any existence for that token prior to that point. On the other hand, if we take a look at the situation that we described in the problem statement, that certainly does not seem to match. Rather, what we have is a copy of the spell that becomes a token as it enters the battlefield. And so therefore, I wouldn't really feel comfortable calling this creating a token, and neither would the game designers. And so that's the reason why Doubling Season does not give you another copy of the Brass Knuckles, because we didn't create a token. And the answer is going to be exactly the same if we're considering any other card that looks for a token to be created. So for example, something like a Crafty Cup Purse, or a Chatterfang, or a Benny Brax, all of those have the same sort of wording, and that means that none of them are going to interact with the copy of the Brass Knuckles entering the battlefield. So, what would we need to take advantage of this? Well, we definitely do have a token entering the battlefield. So that would mean that if we had something like Junkwinder that looks for that type of an event, we would be getting that trigger. And we definitely did copy a spell. So if we had something that looked for that type of an event, we would get those types of triggers also. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.